Uh, gameplay itself is a basic um, platformer side scroller, but our lecturer likes to call it our secret sauce with the AR uh, tattoo. So most probably, if I were to work with this kind of project, I would say let's do a documentary. Uh, to them, they want to reinvent those kind of storytelling and game is the biggest market right now where people can actually reach out and tell stories through those kind of platforms. I guess what, what started off as a final year project ended up becoming so much more, some, something so much more for me and like I did not expect this at all. Our capstone final year project is basically a 12-week project. Uh, that's where I think that's the challenge of it. With such short time, how do you come out with great creative ideas? Because as the FYP came in the final year project, there was a list of things you should, like maybe you can cut, cover a cultural topic. Our partner back then, um, he found this like um, info about Cayenne tattoo. Um, uh, I think it was an article about how the Cayenne ladies got their tattoos. And then, so we said, okay, let's, let's try something like that. At first, it was we were told like okay, it might be a bit, the idea might be a bit too small. So then we were like okay, let's go big. Uh, let's like throw all these different things in, uh, and then see how that goes. So when they pitch on the Dayak project, they wanted to to represent everything under the sun, about everything under the tattoo idea. So you can imagine so big and everything was you know un unorganized. So they decided to scope it down to Gayan tribe. So that's the unique part because we're, we're thinking about a great story. What would be the behind the story why Gayan women has the tattoo in their hand? It's a game about the, com the coming of age journey of this little girl named Do, which is a Gayan girl. And from what we understand, when as young as of 10 years old, if they are privileged enough, they can get tattoos, which symbolize their coming of age. And throughout the whole story, Do is guided and given advice by her grandmother. Her grandmother is also basically her teacher in the whole tattooing process. Grandma also actually is her tattoo artist. So to understand that story, People have to actually go through the game to, to actually work out the story itself. So each level has its individual uniqueness. So level one introduces the material of the, the elements that they made the tattoo itself. And this is kind of fun and understanding, oh, these are the materials that actually was really used on a Gaian tattoo. Usually when you see this, uh, these kind of tattoos uh, you see in pictures, books, all that. So we said, why not instead of just looking at a picture of the tattoo, you can take the phone, uh, if you put a marker here, uh, scan it, the tattoo actually appears in your own arm. Uh, gameplay itself is a basic um, platformer side scroller, but our lecturer likes to call it our secret sauce with the AR uh, tattoo.
So you get the AR tattoo as like a reward for finishing each level. So that became, it became like our wow factor. So most probably if I were to work with this kind of project, I would say let's do a documentary and that will be, that will be the best way. But uh, to them, they want to reinvent those kind of storytelling and game is the biggest market right now where people can actually reach out and tell stories through those kind of platforms. Um, we found out that majority of the people with the Kayan tattoos are in Miri. So Miri uh, then, as we were students back then, driving there was also an issue. So we, we relied on just um, our research from library. So the information may or may not be too accurate because it's books and it's like been 100 years. That's one of the worry we had, but because we only had 12 weeks, three, three months to finish this, we couldn't dwell too long on it. So after like two, three weeks of research, we immediately jumped into production. So I'm not sure about how I know did it, um, but they did reach out to us and, and I gave them a few of my comments. Um, I think the the way we share our culture these days, there are many creative ways and fun ways to make people interested in it. But then again, we need to keep it as close as possible to its origin. And so I asked them like how they feel about the game. Um, and Adrian was able to say like, I, I think, you know, your, your research is too general. Um, he said the stories that his grandma tells sound a little bit different. And we, we built the game without meeting any Kayan people. And then to meet Adrian and have, to have him be able to tell us like, you know, some things are wrong. And because of things that were lost in translation, that's how our, what we find in our research end up being a little bit skewed and things like that. Probably that's one of the big lessons that I learned was that when you get the chance, to work on these kind of cultures, you need to bring in the practitioners, you need to work with the people of that culture because it's not something for you to kind of like, here's my opinion like and about you and like, you know, throw it out. So I think it was week 11 actually, we have a final, week 10 we have a final user testing. I think at that time Swinburne had some, a lot of students from various schools come to Swinburne and we set up a booth and then showed them the game, get their feedback and after that we went to our I think Sarawak TEDx Kayala. So we also presented there, get their feedback and we have I think one week to implement all the remaining changes. That was our first public testing, so me and I think everyone in the batch were like nervous as hell because we weren't too sure who was going to come in. Um, and they were mostly students uh, from other schools. I think at first we were like, okay, like let's just pray that the game doesn't crash. 
that nobody gets stuck anywhere and like they can't move. Uh, unfortunately, there were quite a few, <laughs> quite a few times <laughs> that people get stuck, and then we were like, oh, never mind. Like we'll just take the phone from you, and then we'll like just restart the game, and then like sorry, but you kind of have to start from square one. <laughs> Then we submitted week 12 for week 13. I remember when we first submitted it, it was like, it was like we had the stuff at 3am. We were done at 3am. So we had the book ready, we were like, oh, like, so happy just to give it away. So we were supposed to submit that day. And then we actually called up our lecturer and we were like, hey, can we like submit it to you now? We know it's 3 a.m. but like we could go to your house or something. <laughs> the final day was just as hectic as the other days. Um, obviously no sleep was a normal thing, but then we were all like so used to it already. But we submitted the thing and we were like, okay, like let's all go and rest and let's just not talk to each other for like a month. <laughs> Like, I think we didn't, for the whole team, like, took a break for a while. We didn't talk to each other. We were just, we were just like, in a coma for a while. So we did have an opportunity to participate at that period of time with uh, MDEX uh, Level Up uh, program. He gave us this like, Level Up KL submission website where you can submit it. At first, we were like, should we continue it? We're so, because we're so tired. <laughs> we all just want to sleep. <laughs> and then it was shortlisted in Southeast Asia. It's not really just Sarawak. So when they say, usually they say the nomination for best, actually, uh, best student game. And so there's like all these big announcements, then they finally got to announcing um, award winners. I was nervous as hell, but at the same time, I was like, I don't think we'll get it lah. They said the winner, our game pop up on top there. We had a moment where we just looked at each other, is this real? So we actually had 10, 20 seconds where we didn't got up anything, we just look at each other. I, I, I looked at Joshua, and he looked at me, and we were just like, <laughs> and then, and then, like, oh, okay, okay, I think we need to go up quickly. Yang ditendak oleh dahan ini lengah lenggan dah dah tak tak dah akan tu bawa ni. Jep nak sen tendak ku barang. Nio nio puhu pita ni. Jep kita tendak barang. Tak dah alang panjin ting. Nio tendak kalung tendak panjin kah? Tak dah alang maran ting. Nio tendak dah alang maran kah? Jen haman jen haman dah alang panjin ting. Tak tendak dah alang maran. Baik dah parit. Nanti alang nanti alang lana. Tak tak akan tu bawa ni jina. Awan awan dah dah barah dah kajau dah barah dah kira macam heritage lah something your parents would give to you. As those learns and the whole process goes on, she starts getting her tattoos and she gets more and more until she actually gets a full set. And one day she realizes that her grandma has been missing for a while, so she goes out to look for her grandma and she realizes that grandma is actually busy kind of holding back a malevolent spirit that's threatening their lives and their village. And unfortunately, the malevolent spirit overtakes them. Manona kami alang anak kelonan kaya nike, tam kaya kelonan maru lah. Ay kata na ita anak do um te na te doktor dah alang dah kaya ti ita di kelonan alang ay laki di nuti maksud ti hak na ita do harus na te dok. Sarat te dok ani pelah ho nuti hak senang tak jaga nak susah tak jaga nak 
ay kita ang tahan ke ari ka matoh tapak ulak ati te ta ta unang e te da mapu ita madaji te padalang nai ta ati ngajan han da ati madaji harun da dua laong jaga ita mapu ta ja ta ngalap ko si ha ka hom hadi da naji da Aku ngia alam jusun ni kai dua daw dah pakoh na. Ko si ha si hangun ta dah pakoh jusun ni. Awen no na wen ha perah. Te kat nati pemi nuni sarada nati ba. Ani ulang kata ni na tokon 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 dah na na te. Ani ga eta na bulan lu ni de nokon 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 na dah nore. Eta tahan stat ulang ati matok ga eta ta nangi me. Ta am tahan nati ko rendah ba. Am ta jam Tak yang tak jam ti, usia, usia hantu ti, tahan dah. Eh, aku tak dapat am pitam lepa, pitam tahan. Usia tak pitam, usia pitam, mungkin pido am tahan. Kita tolong hati nampak kita unangi, ba. Anak-anak guru usia mulai mulai nak terdak ni susah. I susah apa? Cara nak gay tak ti, anak-anak susah, berah. Ayah, dia anak najis nak. Dia aku pikir ni kalau aku dia hari aku matang-matang te, aku ingat bahaya mana itu aja. Sang non pita kenap nak ti aku ti, kepala kat perah te tak. Oh pita sayu am perah tak nak, apa kat perah? Aku am hitok berapa, berapa sih aku kasih perlu mana nak? Enjak ti loh te kami, em jam perah nak. Eh besak besak jak loh le, ya em jam perah nak. After being consumed, Do wakes up and finds out that she has actually passed away. Um, and has been transported into the afterlife. As she gets up, she realizes that her tattoos, the patterns on her skin, actually glow in the dark. Tidak akan mendalam ha Kalimantan Indonesia ti. Tidak dah dah ni dah bara, mungkin dah dah ni tidak 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 amian, tidak dah malah jadi lapung, jadi berita kan kami ni. Benda panau lah dah 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 datang dalam benda ti. So much of the time, I was I'm the only woman in the room. I've also unfortunately had an instance where I was in a meeting with a client, and even though I was I was doing so much of the talking, it felt like I was being ignored. Most of the questions were meant for me, but for some reason they were being asked to the other people. So that was that's my one of my more like um, unpleasant experiences. <laughs> uh, and in game in the game industry as well, like we do we do see it as like a male dominated industry.
Tapi saya nak kita kaya ni lang na adu kaya ni. Kita 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 dapat kita kalang menara nak kita kalang nyelong nak kita kalang matoh nak lah. Kita ada orang putih lah. Nusi kita dah nak dia lang dah kita kaya ni. It's it's our cultural identity. I think when you look at tradition or cultural content, uh, if it's going to disappear in front of you, what's your job to retain it? You know, maybe through technology that you you can experience those kind of road trip. You can experience those kind of really exciting uh, experience and understand the story behind there. At that point, Do realizes that her whole tattoo journey and the reason why Grandma was teaching her and giving her the full set of tattoos was to get her prepared for this moment. Um, because Maligang only allows those with a full set of tattoos to cross the bridge and actually get to their final resting place. <laughs> 